friend of mine got this solar panel kit it's for RV uh, camping for tents portable solar panel kit comes with a solar panel battery pack uh, this has the charge controller built in USB output 12 volt output and some LED lights and he said I could test this out for him so this is sort of neat one of my last days here in Coffs Harbor before I head out so let me set this down here we've got we've got the battery pack seven and a half watt solar panel got uh, DC power ports hanging clips LED lights battery clamps support stand mounting screws expansion bolts whatever that is suction cups adapter cables so looks pretty cool so I'm going to open this up and set it up and let it charge through the day. Uh, it's not the biggest thing in the world. It's only a 7.5 um, watt solar panel and a, it says maximum output power 12 watts. I would guess that would be at one point or at one time. It's a 2.6 amp hour battery. Then my neighbor here has birds that are singing along with me. So I'm going to open this up and set it out in the sun and let it charge today. Let's see what's in here. This looks to be somewhat equivalent to my Harbor Freight setup, but just a lot smaller. Oh, those are huge LED lights. There's the LED lights. They're massive. That looks good, actually. All the stands and equipment there. This must be the battery pack. time. Interesting. Unless it just switched on. So we have solar panel plug-in and we've got a USB and light output. Very simple basic device. Nature power it says. And here we have a solar panel. Look at that cloudy day and it's receiving uh, power already. Big bright blue LED. Does that show up on camera? Really sensitive. I think it's one of these amorphous type panels which are extremely sensitive for cloudy day. Which is good for today. It means I'll get some charging. Okay, well I'm going to set up the solar panel for now and leave it out during the day while I'm gone. I want to plug in the solar panel to the battery pack and let it sit during the day here, charge up the battery pack and tonight I'll come back to this and try out the, the lights and see how well they light up a room. I'm in a downstairs room in a friend's house so It'll be uh, nice and dark down there tonight. It'll be a very good test of these LED lights. So the solar panel has its own plug and a controller. Wait a minute, for solar panel only. Oh, I see, I have to hook up the adapter. Interesting. Cigarette lighter plug. Guess I have to find a plug for that. There's, 
there's a solar panel plug so I see this is just a standard uh, this is just like the Harbor Freight plugs as well and then they give you an adapter to plug it into the battery box that goes in there and this goes into the battery box set this out here and see if we get some charging later today short wire All right, I'm gonna look for a place to hang this out and I'll be right back well so there's my little battery pack or I should say my friends little battery pack um, gonna let that sit out here it is cloudy today um, so I don't know what I'll get for charging hold on a second it's actually pretty ugly out right now I put the cable or the solar panel up on the roof and hope it'll turn nicer today and then I've got the wire running down to the little battery pack I'll let this sit all day long when it is early morning we are in Australia so the sun if it comes out will be pretty intense so it says it needs 14 hours of direct sunlight which I may still get today so we'll let this go and uh, we'll come back to it this evening well I've brought in the nature power battery pack and the LED lights and I, I didn't unwind them because these are not mine I'm just have the permission to test these out uh, I just wanted to see what they're like I love solar but anyway I've got them plugged in here and you turn on the box a little light turns to red when nothing's turned on and then you can flip on the LED light and the light turns to green on here when it's in use turn off the light and that switches back to red I'm not sure what that indicator means exactly but anyway let me uh, turn on the light here and I'm going to shut off the overhead light as you can see right now the room is is bright I'm in somebody's house right now um, so anyway I want to shut off the overhead light here shut the door okay this is just the LED light one LED light and you can still see it's not bad you can still see in here at least I can see quite well um, shut off the light we have of course pitch blackness turn on the one light and you can see there's a couch you can see the colored patterns on the couch so that's nice I mean it's not um, it's not as bright as a standard incandescent and turn on the other light and we get even a little bit brighter here and um, you can see pretty well I think now if this was above overhead it would really make a difference you can see it's casting some serious shadows so it's not bad at all see there's just in I just face this straight down to the table here so it's completely down it's not bad but uh, it's not lighting up a whole, what is this, about a uh, 20 by uh, 14 foot room. It's a large room. They're not able to light up the room. But if you have a camper or a tent, this is perfect. Emergency lighting, it's great. So, it's a nice little device. Nice little set of lights. And I don't know if the camera will show this. Um, probably not but there's a nice ring of lights of LEDs super bright LEDs I can see the individual bulbs in there so it's a uh, it's pretty decent of a setup for a little portable pack with its own lights is uh, is good and you can charge your your phone or your iPod iPad um, any small device your cameras so it'd be good little backup power for camping or uh, power outages